Winston Churchill once remarked that no one ever finds life worth living. One has to make it worth living. It's not going to come to you automatically. It's something one has to go out and do and get every single day. The famous singer-songwriter Larry Gatlin echoed this sentiment in one of his most famous songs. The line read, Just existing makes dying look awful easy. Maybe tomorrow I've done enough dying today. I've done enough dying today. I think after the last couple of years, most people can say, you know what? We're done. We're done being depressed. We're done being worrisome about the future. We are done living this existence-based life. We're going to go try to find now a life worth living. There have been all sorts of self-help gurus over the decades that have loved to pontificate in specific terms about what you need to do to have that happy life. Use your time wisely. Be a problem solver. Stay focused. All this kind of stuff without dealing in specifics. Well, at the Florida Mucky Patreon channel, we deal in specifics. We just wrapped up a four-part series. Yesterday, I referred to it as a five-part series. It was a four-part series talking about the challenges that might specifically face women during a shit it's the fan situation. This week, we're going to be starting a new series that deal with men and men's challenges specifically. The vast majority of those challenges that face men will come from within, not from without, unlike women. I'm sure there will be many issues that women will have to deal with on their own, but the primary issues that will face men won't come from without. They'll come from within. See, while most men seek acceptance from others, what a gentleman seeks is within himself. And the same goals will apply during a shit is the fan situation. The more you attempt to live your life as a gentleman, the easier you will find it to be to survive when things get rough. But something has happened in real life today that is going to be the main focus of our video that directly speaks to what we've been talking about over at Patreon. One U.S. dollar, that's all, per month. Fully and completely refundable up to 90 days, meaning you can give it a shot for three months. And if it's not for you, three bucks right back at you. Nothing lost. You'll have access to all the content during that time. Would love to have you over there. You want to save a little money? Sign up for an entire year. It's even less than that. And what's so special about the Florida Maki Patreon channel? Well, unlike here at YouTube, where they have children doing the moderating, over there with Vimeo, our partnership, we can take the gloves off. We can talk like adults. We can speak plainly. And we can even show images sometimes that might make people a little uncomfortable. But that's kind of the key with today's video being uncomfortable, because that's the only way that change happens. Now, I'd like to ask a question, and I want everyone to look at this image very closely. Is anyone confused as to who the male swimmer is and who the female swimmer is? Is anyone confused? I don't think space aliens from another galaxy, even if they existed, would be confused. Arriving on Earth at a swim meet, they would say, oh, we have one particular gender over here, and you have another particular gender over there. Pretty simple. Pretty clear. But it shows something, and 71.5% of those in the swimming hierarchy have now come out and said, yeah, sorry, we're going to side with accepted science. We're going to side with rational, intelligent, sane people. International Federation issues huge ruling on transgender athletes and, and women's swimming. Controversy over biological men competing in women's sports has been a hot-button issue, recently, I don't know about for years, due to concerns over competitive fairness. 
FINA, F-I-N-A, the International Swimming Federation announced Sunday that transgender athletes are permitted to compete only if they were what they were before 12. Yes, that's right. Only if they were what they ever were before 12. Meaning you can have not ever gone through male puberty and compete in women's sports. If you in any way began male puberty, sorry, what Fina is saying is you're a guy and you're going to be treated like a guy. You're going to be treated like a man. Period. And that's the right ruling. That's absolutely the right ruling. Now, a lot of people are looking at this. Great, Maki. What does this have to do with us, though, personally in our lives? Well, you see, in a survival situation, you would need to have leaders. You would need to have leaders that you could trust to give you good, sound advice. Good, sound advice that works. This is a viewer of my channel, has his own YouTube channel now, Instagram channel now, Tim Bassett. The man is in his 60s. The man gives out advice on nutritional supplements, on diet, on exercise, on little tips and tricks that you can do to achieve the results that he's achieved. Now, I'm sure a lot of men would look at this series of images and go, yeah, I'd love to look like that at any age. Especially this third one here. He's been um, with this same woman for quite a long time. I don't want to misquote the years, but it's been a long time. They've been together in a very happy, loving relationship, something that both men and women would love to have. He hasn't talked about that specifically, but I think a lot of this pertains to it. The way the man conducts his life and the decisions that he makes. These are the kind of leaders that you need to gravitate towards, not those that just talk in general terms. Tim Bassett talks in specific terms. Now, his YouTube channel is not super high tech. It's not, uh, doesn't have all the bells and whistles of the big channels that have millions and millions and millions of views, but he gets down to the brass tacks, down to the nitty gritty, how to make pemmican, basic exercises, little tads and tidbits about his life and things that he does. But it's results that you have to look for. This is the key. Results. No confusion here about man and woman or what you would need to do to be a man and look like this. Now, the advice that he gives, the advice that he gives is exactly the opposite in many respects as to the advice the Patriot Nurse gives about health and life and being healthy. But why would they be different things? Very simple. The Patriot Nurse is a woman. Tim Bassett is a man. If the Patriot Nurse did the things that Tim Bassett is doing to stay in shape and look like a man, she wouldn't look like this. And the other opposite is true. That if Tim Bassett took the advice the Patriot Nurse is giving about staying healthy and being healthy, he wouldn't look like he looks. And she's very clear about this. This is her channel. These are the kind of leaders you need to look for in a survival group, in a shit is the fan situation. These are the leaders you would need to follow. She talks about this. Three specific videos. January 22, 2015. Want to lose weight? Look at the soul first, not the body. Great video. January 15, same year, smoothies versus juicing for weight loss, questions answered. And December 31, 2014, which was, I guess, the week before this, she talks about how she lost 70 pounds and kept it off with juice fasting. Does Tim Bassett do juice fasting? No. He eats a couple dozen eggs a week. A couple dozen eggs a week and steaks, and pemmican. Why? He's a man. 
Men do things ABC way, and it works, and they're happy. Women do things XYZ way, and they are happy, and it works. It doesn't make one right. It doesn't make the other wrong. But it's the proof in reality that men and women are different. And to be happy and to live a fulfilled life, a life worth living, they need to do things in exactly the opposite way sometimes. Exactly the opposite way. You see, that's the war of the mind, which is what this channel is about. The war of the mind, understanding this, that person A can say do ABC, person B can say do things XYZ. And both can work. What's the difference? Men are men, women are women. We can see this visually. And when men and women go out and try to do things and have relationships and date, they understand this. They just see the world a very different thing. It doesn't make one wrong or one right. Men should not try to be more like women, and women should not try to be more like men. We should just celebrate and love those differences and love each other through those differences. That's the real key. That's the real key to the control of the mind. That the lazy don't want you to know. And that's really what it's about. That is really what this is all about. There are a lot of folks out there that are lazy, psychologically lazy. A man encounters a woman and there's conflict. They see the world in entirely different ways. And so one thinks maybe I should be more like a man and the, the man thinks maybe I should be more like a woman. That's wrong. That's absolutely wrong. But that's what's being taught. That is what's being taught, regardless of what we can see with our own eyes. God created man. Male and female created he them. Male and female created he them. And that's that ethereal thing that exists that creates the new life. That in so many ways you can say, oh, chemically that, you know, man and, and woman are very close together and that, you know, we have the DNA and all that. We all know the difference. We all know the difference and we can see this. And the reason I use these examples is because it's a real world right here on YouTube. Right here on YouTube with channels we've talked about before. The advice Patriot Nurse gives is absolutely 100% spot on right. Does that make the advice Tim Bassett gives wrong? No. It absolutely doesn't. This is advice for men looking to beef up and tone up and slim down and have a wonderful life as a man. If you want to have a wonderful life as a woman, listen to the Patriot Nurse. I listen to the Patriot Nurse talk about great many other things. I don't think I'm going to do juice fasting. I don't think that would work for me. That doesn't make it wrong. So I just wanted to take today and, and illuminate this, elucidate this, and show this. Because I don't think a lot of people are seeing this. Why? Because psychology, and that's kind of my wheelhouse. The ability to see both of those things as a blessing even though they're virtually opposite. You see, that's the key. If you'd like more training like this, more content like this, join us over at Patreon. Like I said, it's only one. One U.S. dollar. Would love to have you. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. Subscribe to Tim Bassett, T-I-M space B-A-S-S-E-T-T. -T. On YouTube, he also has an Instagram channel, T-I-M-B-A-Z-E-T. -E and of course, I'm sure many of you are already quite familiar with the Patriot Nurse and how to find her and her channel. 
She has been here for years and years. And the last thing I'll say about this is both of them have something in common. The Patriot Nurse and Tim Bassett. Diligence and patience. You don't look like this. You don't achieve these results overnight. Patriot Nurse, she achieved those results how long ago? Lost 70 pounds. Well, this is December 31, 2014. So that would make it at least eight years. And I think she talks about it from even in her younger life. So it could have been even farther back than that. So anyway, God bless. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.